Hi, this is Susan Paxton for Expert Village. We're going to look at a woodland potpourri, a little bit closer look because a lot of the things that you can pick up in your own uh, areas can be used in a potpourri. Now I'll pour this into my bowl and we'll take a look at some of the things that are in it. Now mushrooms are just perfect. They don't have a, a, a large fragrance um, level, but they're good filler and they're colorful and uh, add, add texture to the potpourri. Uh, another thing is uh, the, I believe they call it lichen that, or lichen or something like that, that grows on trees. Um, I went out and actually picked this up off of a tree and, uh, and it adds another dimension to your potpourri. Uh, walnuts with the casings on them, the black walnuts come off of the tree with the black, with the green, and if you dry it be, and don't take the cover off, they make really good potpourri additions. Um, all kinds of little pine cones, and these are miniatures, and these I had to buy. But a lot of places, you can go up in the mountains and you can find uh, things. Um, one thing I don't have in here is pine needles, and pine needles are really good and even uh, bark off of old trees is really good to put in uh, potpourri. All various leaves, I believe these were lemon leaves. Uh, I, I collect just all kinds of pieces of plants and, and uh, things to put in my potpourri. The little red berries, I had to buy them too, but uh, but I'm sure that wherever they grow, a person could go and just pick them, dry them really well. These are kind of fuzzy little berries, and uh, and they make great additions to the potpourri. And this kind of potpourri is, is the kind that I would probably, unless I had something that was quite fragrant, like the leaves are quite fragrant, um, I would probably add oil to this mixture. 